Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of the Nobody Spent Road to Glory, and today, a day where we knew we were going to get some good content, and it came in the form of a GOAT Galaxy Opal Shack card. And of course, we've got the next Flash set, so last week was a Flash 8, and then they've done dropped Flash 9 straight away, so back to back weeks of getting Flash packs. I don't think many people expected that, including myself. Uh, but yeah, we've got Boogie in there, we've got a couple of glitch cards, including KP and Blake point guard so that's kind of mad so i think there was eight or nine new cards added today so we'll go ahead and check all of those out see if they're any good we've got a really good locker code which could get us up to 50 tokens which would be nice uh, we've got this locker code to put in and we've got the ralph sampson to cash in that we sold off yesterday uh, so if you guys saw that in stream in the video we pulled well we pulled it in stream and then i put the clip into the video we pulled the ralph sampson live on stream we pulled the second one up on the auction house and he sold overnight and uh, we're going to cash him in today. Now, the MT amount we have is a little bit down because we spent about 100,000 MT on packs today uh, for these Flash 9 cards. Um, probably see by the title and the thumbnail and the fact that there isn't a massive, like, oh, my God, we pulled a Galaxy Opal. You can probably tell we didn't pull a Galaxy Opal. Uh, but I'll tell you what we pulled in those packs uh, when we get around to it. Before we do that, uh, the agenda today, absolutely useless. Absolutely useless. Uh, and then we'll talk about the limited time event as well in a little second. So what's my favorite My Team mode? Triple Threat Challenges Unlimited and Triple Threat Online. Honestly, my favourite thing to do in this game is play the menus. Buy and sell cards, try new cards. Like, I don't actually enjoy playing this game, and I don't think many people do. But out of all of this, I guess it's Triple Threat. Or Triple Threat Online. Oh, I don't know. A triple Threat Online can still be frustrating, man. I, I guess Triple Threat Online. I, guess. I mean, definitely not Unlimited. Definitely not Challenges. Uh, well, challenges are good to chill out. So 40% of people said triple that offline. Interesting. Unlimited, unsurprisingly, is uh, the last thing that's going to be chosen, which is rightly so. 14%. Imagine that. The only 5v5 game mode in this game is only enjoyed, or is only the favourite game mode of 14% of people that play this game. That's wild. Uh, and then, yes, we do have new unlimited rewards, which we'll go through in a second. But before we do all of that, a massive shout out to everyone for the support lately, because today we hit 18,000 subscribers, which is a big W. Uh, and yeah, now we are pushing on to 20,000 MT. There's 20,000 MT. Well, I've got MT on the mind. 20,000 subscribers and maybe 21,000 by the start of 2K21. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We stream every day, at least one video every day. But the weekend coming up, we're going to have two videos each day, as we always do for the weekends. Uh, and yeah, if you're excited for 2K21, this is the place that you're going to want to be. Uh, and then, of course, a massive shout out to the GOATs and the MVPs of the channel. For the MVPs, we have got Heisenberg, Panda, Amru, Todd, Dr. K, Will, Patrick, Cole, Bog, Ben, Aiden, Seven, and Arrow, Slinksy. I nearly nailed it. I messed up a little bit. Uh, and then we've got the goats as well, of course. Eric, Jason, Cody Z, Spooky Chris, Caleb, Rohan, and Omar Twice. Thank you so much for your support. You're amazing. And if anybody else wants to get involved as well and help support the channel, there's a join button down below. If not, top line in the description. Click on that, and it'll tell you how to go about things. Now, they have updated the weekly challenges, so let's have a look and see what they are. So there's another one that's just one game, 15 tokens, uh, going up against the glitch. Oh, my God. Going up against Blake, Kristaps Porzingis, Lavar Odom, Hakeem, and Shaq. Bruh. Uh, you got to win the game and score at least 60 points, which would happen naturally. Anyway, that's wild. Uh, as for the weekly challenges, uh, 5 minute quarters, 5,000 MT, easy as you like. And 4 minute quarters, 20 tokens, 2 flash 9 players. Again, very, very easy. So I'll definitely make sure I get through both of those. Right, as for the new unlimited rewards, let's take a look through these. So games 1 and 2, I'm pretty sure exactly the same. Um, so nothing really to talk about there. We've got Diamond Larry Bird for three wins. We've got Pink Diamond Amare for four. Pink Diamond Baron Davis for five. Pink Diamond Clyde the Glide for six. Pink Diamond Dirk for seven. Pink Diamond Moses Malone for eight. Uh, Galaxy Opal James Worthy for nine, who I think is probably the best one that you could go for in terms of like effort. Because uh, Galaxy Opal Jerry Lucas, I'd probably take James Worthy over Jerry Lucas. And I'll definitely take both of those guys over this Wilt Chamberlain as well, who's at 11 wins. And then if you go, if you go, wow, I can't talk. If you go 12 and 0. You get Galaxy Opal, Glenn Rice. Now, one thing to note is, last time they did an updated unlimited event, they boosted the MT amount and the token amount to quite a lot. I think well, if you went 12 and 0 before, it was 20k and 50 tokens. So they haven't actually updated that, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but one thing to note, guys, one thing to note. We all know a token market update is coming soon. It's got to be. In July, it's got to happen. There's a few signs. There's a few signs. So the last token market update 
Obviously, it came on a Saturday. On the Friday before, we had a Flash set released. We had the Flash set, which was the one with uh, Tracy McGrady in. I don't know what number it was, but whatever one it was, it was a Flash set on a Friday. Also on that Friday, it was the Unlimited event. So, that's two quite big signs that maybe it'll be coming. Uh, don't hold me to that, obviously. I don't know that it's coming tomorrow. I'm just speculating. I'm just hoping and trying to get excited because we've got 1500 tokens uh, right now and it's going to get in more after this locker code as well but yeah last token market update when it happened on a saturday the day before was a flash set was an unlimited re a reward event and uh, we've got both of those things today so we'll have to wait and see boys we'll have to wait and see right let's go ahead and put this locker code in speaking of tokens let's see what we're going to get from this so it is i think there's mt on this as well but i think is a 50 token slot and maybe a 20 token slot I oh, know, so it's July, tokens, MTP, and then drop, MTP, and drop. Right, let's see what they've got. This is the first locker code they've done in a couple of days, I think. I can't remember the last one we actually put in on this count, but it is what it is. Eventually, there we go. So 50 tokens, 3,000 MT, or 20 tokens. It's got 250 MT spinner in the middle. All right, so we really want to get down to the bottom. Let's see if we can do it. If we get the 20 tokens, I can't be mad, but if we get the 3,000 MT, that's a, it's just not very good, is it? And I think... Just stay away from that far right-hand side or far left-hand side. Just don't do it. Okay, just just go down, all right? I'm bored now. Just just do something. Okay, finally, we've passed that spinner. Stay to the middle. Stay to the middle. Stay to the middle. God damn it. 3,000 MT, man. What a load of trash. Guess it's better than nothing. But when you got the chance of 50 tokens, that's huge, and we didn't get them, so feels bad, bro. Bro, feels bad. Right. We've got two frostbite packs to open up, which were from Triple Threat Online. And as for the weekly wheel spin that we had today, we managed to get 5,000 MT. So we got 5,000 MT, so it's not bad. So couple that with that locker code. We got 8,000 MT just for logging in today and putting in a code. So I guess we can't really complain about that. Did we just get a duplicate? We did. I don't know if he sells for more than 800 MT. Probably not. Probably not. But anyway, in the pack market, uh, the Flash 9 set. Now, we did open 10 of these on stream. So about 100,000 MT. We, we didn't get a single player. We didn't even get a pink diamond. The only good thing we got was a diamond contract, which sells for about 20k. So it did make us back a little bit of MT. But not even a single player. So that was really, really poor. Uh, and yeah, feels bad, bro. But yeah, we are going to take a look at these 9 cards in just a second. But first up, we have got to cash in our buzzer beta Ralph Sampson pull from yesterday. Now, right now, he's down at like 85k. But of course, we had the second one up. So, we got 233,000 MT. Let's get it. So, even after spending 100k today, we're still in profit this week. Uh, Dave DeBusier and uh, Ralph Sampson. Let's get it. 200k. Thank you very much. Second Ralph Sampson pulled. Let's get it. I will never understand why people bid so much when they know the card's going to come down in price. But people always want to be first. I don't understand why. But anyway, that puts us at 3.4 mil, uh, which is a big W, and we've still got uh, a few bits and bobs that we need to go ahead and sell, which we will, of course, go ahead and do. All right, so just before we jump into the new set, LeBron James, thankfully, his price is going up because the only point guard card that came out today was the point guard Blake Griffin uh, that's an Opal. So uh, 763k unevoed. Oh, boy. I think tomorrow might be the day to get his boys sold, or over the weekend, I think it's going to be the time to get his boys sold. Because that is a lot of MT. If we can get like 800k back for him, I'm going to be set with that. Because really, he's going to get a GOAT card. And whether or not that'll be soon, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, really, really excited about the prospect of getting something big for him. Uh, we still haven't bought a Danny Granger yet. Uh, just in preparation for the token market update, whenever it may come. If you did want to see a little bit of an in-depth guide on how to prepare, then check out the Nobody Spent episode from last night. A lot of you guys watched it, which is awesome. So thank you so much for the support. Uh, but yeah, Flash 2... Flash 5, Flash 8, we've got them ready to go. Not locking them in just yet, but we are prepared. We are ready. And uh, Flash 9 came out today. And again, it's another set that locks in for 200 tokens. Is it going to be viable to do so in terms of like a good ratio of MT to tokens? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what these prices settle at. Because as you can see, as I'm recording this, they have not finished their first wave just yet. But anyway, let's get into the players. Let's get into these players. So Byron Russell... First up has 36 Hall of Fame badges and 18 gold. He has the same release as Scotty Pippen, which is not good. That's not a good thing at all. So that's not good. 85 driving layup and a 75 driving dunk. That's also not very good. So 
couple that with his bad release. This car's not it, Chief. That that card ain't it. So Byron Russell, not for me. Definitely not for me. Next up, we have got Jim Jackson, who has one very funny stat, which I'll show you guys in a second. So he's got 41 Hall of Fame badges and the eight gold badges. So 41 Hall of Fame badges on a pink diamond. That's very good. Uh, he has a 93 driving layup, 85 driving dunk, 90 mid, 97 three. Good passing, good defense, and a little bit of speed. We come down here all the way to the bottom. A hundred foul tendency. And actually, on the websites, it shows it as 110. So my man is starting fights in the locker room before the game's even started. Like, my guy is on, but he never takes it too far. Hard foul tendency, zero. So he'll rough you up a little bit, but he won't take it too far. So, uh, yeah, that's very weird. So Jim Jackson could be a fun card to play with just to see what he does on the floor. Uh, but realistically, a decent card. Not going to be used in the small four position because he's only 6'6". A decent card, but nothing to write home about. Next up, we've got Ryan, uh, Ryan Anderson, Kenny Anderson, six foot tall point guard. Do I need to say any more? I don't really think so. 41 Hall of Fame badges, but that's completely irrelevant when you are 7 foot tall. 40 driving dunk, so it's just another point guard with great stats and uh, speed that can't dunk and is undersized. So Kenny Anderson, that's a no from me. That's a no from me. Next up, we've got Anthony Edwards getting another card this year. So that is now every card from the next set. So of course, there's six cards in here. RJ, James Wiseman. Oh, no, wait. James Wiseman. Cole Anthony, Onyeka, Lamelo Ball, Anthony Edwards, and RJ. Out of these six, five of them now have three levels of cards. It's only Lamelo Ball that only has two. So I'd expect a pink diamond Lamelo Ball in the not too distant future. And I don't know why they're pushing these next cards so much. Like, we literally just got a Cole Anthony and another James Wiseman. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see who's going to come out. But I imagine it's going to be another Lamelo Ball at some point. So they have changed Anthony Edwards' position, which is a little bit annoying. He was great at point guard. Now we don't have that option. So shooting guards, small forward, and at six foot five, you're not going to want to play him at the small forward position. But for the two guard, not going to be too bad. He's got the 37 Hall of Fame badges and the 19 gold badges. Pretty much everything that you would expect to see. Really good shooting and uh, really good driving stats. Again, great passing, good defense, and really nice speed as well. So for a two guard, not going to be too bad. And if you care about the tendencies and whatever, he's got the 90 contested shot. Only 45 on ball steal and 65 pass interception. But Col uh, Anthony Edwards, sorry, definitely the best out of the four pink diamonds that came out today. Then we have the two Galaxy Opals now. What is JB selling for right now? Because on stream, literally within like half an hour, he was down at like 75k. So I imagine he's down at like 50, 60k right now. Not quite 55, but I imagine he will keep on coming down. Let's push it up to like over 60. 62,000 MT. This card is so cheap. So cheap, and uh, there are hundreds and hundreds of him up on the auction house right now. So JB is six foot seven. He does have a quite nice release. I really do like his release, to be fair. I remember using his Diamond Moments of the Week card earlier on in the year, and I really, really enjoyed that. He's got every badge you would expect to see. 48 Hall of Fames and 15 gold. 95 driving layup and 97 driving dunk. 95 mid, 96 three. Great passing, 98 steal and perimeter D. Good rebounding, and then great speed and 97... Uh, acceleration, 98 vertical, 91 strength. JB, looking really nice. So for his price, a really, really solid card. And like I said, I can see him being even cheaper over the next sort of day or two. Then we've got Boogie Cousins coming in. Now, is he a buyout? He's not. That is very, very surprising. That is very surprising because just look at how many have been pulled. So at 1 hour 42, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 in one minute. And then again, probably like another 10 in what... There's so... Look at that. There's like 50. There's like 20 in that minute. There's so many. So when he actually starts ending, I can see him ending for 100,000 MT. And he'll be a buyout before too long, in my opinion. Uh, but the card itself is very, very strong. 6 foot 11, but he has a 7 foot 6 wingspan, I think. Like, my man's huge out on the floor. He's got 71 badges in total, including 51 Hall of Fames and 20 golds. Uh, 97 driving layout, 95 driving dunk, 97 three. And of course, he has a really, really nice release. I think it's the same as Sabonis. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. Uh, really good passing, really solid defensive stats, really great rebounding. And then uh, 91 sweeper ball as well. Only thing that's a little bit low is lateral quickness. But of course, you can go ahead and boost that up with a shoe and or a coach. And then again, if you care about the uh, tendencies, 95 block, 95 contested shot, and 80 pass interception. So for a cheap center, not going to lie, probably going to be one of the better ones in the game. At the moment, it's kind of just like Embiid as a good cheap Galaxy Opal center. And he's up at like nearly 200k. 
So uh, Boogie definitely can come in and uh, fit in that range. Now, if he does come down in price, maybe this set will be viable, but you need JB to come down quite a lot as well. So for the time being, this set is not worth locking in for tokens, not at all in my opinion. We move over to the two glitched cards that came out today. Chris Stout's Paul Zingas at 500k right now, bro, are you wild? What are you doing? Why would you do this? Again, similarly to Boogie and to Jalen Brown, there are hundreds, hundreds up on the auction house right now. And when he starts to finish, I'm going to say 100 to 150k. That's what I think this car's going to go for. There's two, look at that, there's like 20 in that, that minute, and then it just does not stop. He's going to come down in price. There's no question about it in my mind. But anyway, he comes in at 7 foot 3, of course. Shooting guard, small forward. Uh, 51 Hall of Fame badges and 17 gold. And again, pretty much everything you would expect to see in the card. I think like he maybe doesn't have slippery off ball or lightning reflex is one of those two. We might have scrolled past it. I don't know. But he's got all the important badges. That's what is important. 94 driving layup, 80 driving dunk. So the dunk is a little bit low. So you could definitely boost that up a little bit. Uh, 97 driving, oh wait, 97 mid, 98 three, we good passing, great defense, incredible rebounding, and speed, that might need to be boosted a little bit as well, especially that acceleration at 87, but KP, 7 foot 3, 2 guard, bruh, 2k, why are you the way that you are, I don't know, um, 700k, oh my days, 700k for Galaxy Opal, point guard Blake, and again, it's another card where there's just hundreds of them up right now. Similarly to KP, I can see this card going for 100, 250, maybe even 200k in these first couple of hours. And all of these start cards start ending at exactly the same time. There's just no way that people can stay on top of that. Look how many are ending in that minute. So again, another card that's going to get really, really cheap in my opinion. Just because of the sheer volume of him that's out there on the auction house right now. But he does come in at 6 foot 10, point guard. 56 Hall of Fame badges and 16 gold. Uh, again, really nice release on Blake Griffin. Not the best in the game by any stretch of the imagination, but a nice release. Uh, and we will go ahead and compare him to somebody who's a little bit taller. Do we have anyone that's taller? We've got Giannis, I guess. We'll compare it to Giannis. Why not? So post games on point. 98 driving layup, 99 driving dunk, and 99 standing dunk. 97 mid, 96 three. Great passing, great defense, great rebounding, and incredible athletic stats as well, as you would fully expect for a Galaxy Opal Blake Griffin. And then again, in terms of his tendencies, we've got a 46 pass interception, which obviously isn't great for the point guard position. Uh, only a 21 block as well, but that's not too important if he's not going to be in the paint too much. Uh, but yeah, Blake Griffin, going to be pretty ridiculous at the point guard position. 6 foot 10. 2K are just wild this year. 2K are wild. And then, speaking of wild, we have another GOAT center. The third one. We've got Kareem. We've got Wilt Chamberlain. And now we've got Big Diesel Shaq as well. First one selling for 2.8 million MT and then a two bids of exactly the same 2.4 mil, which is a, a little bit suspicious, but whatever. Um, and then a couple of other bids at 2 million as well. Not that, I don't know, there's quite a few up to be fair. For a GOAT card, I feel like this is quite a lot up. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look at him and let's compare him to obviously our GOAT Kareem that we've already got. So Shaq obviously comes in one inch shorter, but a hundred pounds heavier. My man is a thick boy. Um, he's got 64 Hall of Fame badges and nine gold. I think off the top of my head, the only badges he doesn't have are obviously steady shooter and slippery off ball. I think that's the only other badge that he doesn't have. Other than that, my man's got everything. My man's got everything. Now, stats wise, is a goat card. So it's all 99s, 98s, 97s. Um, it's plus one, plus two, basically. Defensively, exactly the same as Kareem. Rebounding, exactly the same as Kareem. And then speed, pretty much exactly the same. And then if you come down to his tendencies, they're pretty wild. 100 pass interception, 100 contest shot, 100 block shot, 0 foul and 0 hard foul, and then 100 take charge, and then a 5 crash tendency as well. So tendencies are on point. They are incredible. Um, but, of course, one thing to note about this Shaq card is his release is always going to be a problem. His release is always going to be a problem, and... Also, I don't think that card art goes very hard. Not going to lie. Kareem's, I think, looks great. Wilt Chamberlain's, I think, looks amazing. Uh, but Shaq, I kind of feel like they did a little bit dirty. MJ's is obviously great. Uh, Larry Bird's is amazing. Steph's great. Kobe's is a little bit lacking, but he was the first card to come out, so that's fair enough. But yeah, Shaq's, I don't know. Just doesn't really do it for me. But I don't think I'm going to try him out. This guy, now that his price has crashed, because obviously uh, people are panicking and buying the Shaq instead, 
I might pick up this Wilt Chamberlain for one and a half mil just to give him a go. Like, he's got an eight foot wingspan. Like, Jesus Christ, that's insane. Uh, we can have Kareem and Wilt at the four and a five. And then we can run a full GOAT lineup again. That could be pretty wavy. So we might look at picking up a Wilt Chamberlain at some point over the weekend. And then James Wiseman, I have been looking at his price earlier today as well. Is still around that 450k and I don't really want to pay that just because I don't really want to. But tomorrow, I think we might have a little bit of a shopping spree going on. We're back up to 3.4 milli. I think Boogie and JB and the two new Glitch boys could be coming through to the squad. Because like I said, I reckon these guys are going to be really cheap. And I think they're going to be a bargain when they first come out. When these first start ending in like 1 hour 35 minutes from when I'm recording this... I think they're going to be really cheap, so I think it's going to be a very, very good idea to go ahead and pick them up whilst they are cheap, and maybe even tomorrow morning they'll be even cheaper, I don't know, I'll have to wait up and see what is what. But guys, that is going to do it for this episode, a lot of talking, a lot to go through, and tomorrow, you never know, it could be the day that this finally gets updated, now, if they are going to put goats into the token market, now, obviously, they won't put in people like Kobe, they better not. Uh, they shouldn't put in people like Larry Bird or Steph or Kareem because obviously he's a set reward. But these four boys that are auctionable, they could very well get put into the uh, token market. And if they do, that's got to be mad and we're going to need to find even more tokens. We're going to need to find even more tokens. Now, Bill Walton right now is like 200k, which sucks. So damn expensive. Uh, Phil Schneer is just over 100k as well. But it's, I mean, that would be alright on its own. But the fact you've got to pay like 40k for a Nate Thurman as well... That just makes it too expensive. So right now, yeah, we're sitting on uh, about 500 tokens that we can lock in at the click of a finger. So that's fine. It puts us up to 2,000 tokens, which is nice. And then if we do need to spend a little bit more MT, obviously, we can go ahead and do that. But that's going to do it, guys, for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope you're excited for whenever this token market update might come. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow. A couple of signs are pointing towards it. The signs are there, but we'll have to wait and see. But, of course, we will be streaming if anything does happen tomorrow. So that's going to do it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.